extra fit. What's poppin' YouTube? This is Extra Fit Games here, and I am really excited to go ahead and bring you guys this video. This is going to be my very first box opening, and this is day one of Soul Fusion being available. Of course, not counting the the uh, sneak peek that occurred this past weekend, but regardless, the first day that these are available for retail, I had to run to my local game store, and I had to pick one of these up. And we've also got a local um, tournament tonight, and the spicy deck that I promised promised you guys in my last and very first deck profile is ready and if we do well enough we'll be having a deck profile of that later on but without further ado i can't contain this excitement so i'm just going to go ahead and pop this open or at least i'm going to attempt to okay give me a second please enjoy the dueling intensifies matt InkedGames.com, customize your own playmat. They did not pay me to say that. I just really enjoyed their service. Alright, I've literally never opened one of these before, so pardon my fumbling. Wait, we got it. There we go. <laughs> the guys across the table from me, God, they had to have bought like four or five boxes. That should be the one that's getting recorded, but we'll settle for this one. Let's go ahead and get started then. Oop. Just a few. God, 24 packs. This is, guys, this is so ridiculously exciting. I can't stand it. I can't find it. First and foremost, the very first card is Salaman Great Jack Jaguar. That is that is an archetype that was released in this set. I'm not exactly that excited about it because I cannot tell you how much I despise Soul Banner's character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, but I'll probably get into that in an episode review. Uh, Parallel Panzer. Galaxy Brave. Alright, we're getting some Galaxy stuff. Not necessarily the... Um, the most sought after, but it is support nonetheless. And there he is, Triple D Flame King High Genghis. God, if I only had this back in the day when I was playing DDDs, that would have been incredible. And for our first super rare, we've got Necro Valley Throne. God, I got a buddy of mine who plays Grave Keepers, and he'll be very happy to see that I got this. I might just have to trade this to him. And for our rare, we're looking at an Orcust Brass Bombard. Interesting, never quite heard of that one. Will Salomon Great, ooh, the other Galaxy card, the other um, common monster, the level 4 Galaxy Cleric. Alright, and Asinato. Melodia, okay, that's Melodious support. Alright, that is interesting indeed. Moving on. Uh, Nordic Alfar, yeah, if I, if I liked that archetype. <laughs> Another High Flame King Gang Genghis. Salomon Great Foxy. God, I'm gonna end up pulling all of the Salomon Great cards just because I don't want them. And alright, our second pack first ultra rare. We got Or Crustorion. Uh new archetype, I guess. I've literally never heard of that. Let's see what this does. Link four, machine. Two plus effect monsters. Including an Orcrest monster, if this camera would focus, but that doesn't matter, I'll read it to you. This linked card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You can target three of your banished machine monsters, shuffle them into your deck, and if you do, the attack and defense of any linked monsters your opponent currently controls become zero. Also, their effects are negated. That is interesting. That could be an interesting gimmicky card I might play in the spicy deck I promised you guys. More on that later, we'll see, we'll see. More Gravekeeper's cards, we've got the Gravekeeper's Headman, Gravekeeper Spiritualist, interesting. Ooh, the new ritual cards, Incantations, alright. I might mess around with these, these look fun. Salmon Great Sanctuary, Field Spell, and Salmon Great Falco. I am literally gonna pull all of the Salamon Great cards. Let's keep moving on. Yes. Yes. Salomon Great Foxy. And there we go. That, the Dino Wrestler. How do you pronounce this? Panquitops? This is actually an incredible, incredible comment. I hope to, I hope we get a, a playset of this at least. This, 
for a, such a for a common card, this is really really powerful. What are we looking at? If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon this once per turn this way. And then a quick effect, you can tribute a Dino Wrestler and then target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Yeah, it's an easily just puke this out onto a field version of Dryden. That's, that's something else. I like that. Uh, the Dino Wrestler Link Monster. Dino Wrestler King T. Rexel. The puns are real with Konami. Konami of America, at least. Eh. I'm not a fan of the way that um, Go or Gore went from Goki to Dino Wrestler. That was just not good for his character arc, in my opinion. Mm, doesn't matter, though. Moving on. Giant Ballpark. I have no idea what that does. Uh, normal monster support, I guess. Ooh, super rare is Noble Knight support. We got Noble Knight, Yvonne. Not bad, not bad. And we got another, um, another one of this card. <laughs> Patchwork Fluffle to go with... <laughs> Go with Fright for Patrick, that's fun. That's fun, I like that. What on earth is this fusion monster? We got Diplexler Chimera. Looks to be just, I guess, generic cyber support. Hmm. That could be fun, if only uh, the cybers is, as an archetype were better. But casuals are players too. What do we got here? Another Dino Wrestler? Yeah, nothing too great. Moving on. I promise I'll start bree breezing through this faster once we start... Um, pulling more duplicates. Agave Dragon. Now, I was kind of excited for this when I when I read the leaks, but when I saw that it was a common, and then just how, really how situational it was, ah, that really, that really just kind of hurt my soul. Uh, I had high hopes for this one. Jack Jaguar. Bear Blocker. Looking like a Zexal card over here. Danger Mothman. All right, for the Super Rare, we pulled our first Danger card. I am okay with this. I, this is, I made a video about this card. I'm, I'm pretty sure my channel was actually the first one to talk about it. I mean, shortly followed by just a couple of hours behind people like Mega Capital Jisha. I don't know. Everyone was kind of focused on the pricier cards, but I like this card. That's probably a pretty decent sleeper in the deck. Okay, our rare is not one of the Thunder Dragon monsters, but the trap supports. That's interesting. That is interesting. Orcrest. Okay, there is the other DDD support. G Triple D Super Doom King Purple Armageddon. That is going to look so weird in my trade binder next to Dark and Bright Armageddon as a common with the other S Ultra Rares. Uh, what can you do? Eternal Galaxy, Galaxy Trap Card Support, and Crusadia Spatha. Alright, Crusadia Link Monster, that's interesting. What do we got? Next pack, next pack. This is this. The Ritual Salaman Great, that's okay. Alright, Salaman Great, Emerald Eagle. I remember this card in the anime, that was something else to be sure when the when Vrains tries to like slowly but surely kind of advertise the different types of monsters almost in a way that um that arc 5 did but i guess less subtly or more subtly if you'd prefer because each of those had their own dimension whereas these ones just kind of appear out of nowhere it's still fun and good for a few surprises here and there world legacy world wand solomon great foxy Agave Dragon, and then the Sky Striker spell card support. We got Sky Striker Maneuver, Vector Blast. Well, as if that deck needed any more power, am I right? More Orcrest cards. Harp Horror. Harp Horror. That is a horrifying heart. Orchestrated Horror. Orchestrated Einsatz, and another Salomon Great Falco. Moving on. Moving on. God, everyone's getting so hyped for, for these boxes. Everyone's getting these. This is so incredible. Dino Rexler, King T Rexel, Invincibility Barrier. Interesting. That's um, that's kind of like a dimensional barrier. Not dimensional barrier. Um, dimen not D barrier. What's the, what's the dimensional fissure? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The the trap where. You name a type and then they can't summon it or activate the effects. Someone will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> Brain fart moment. Another Galaxy Brave. Here we are. First secret rare. Danger, the snake card. Sukiono. 
I did promise someone when I was opening this box that if I pulled this, I would trade it to them. So as much as I'd like to keep this little guy, I gave my word. Someone is going to be very happy with this little snake. Sign up Fusion. Uh, Dino Wrestler, Capio Raptor, that little Salomon Great, Galaxy Cleric, Ostinato. Okay, so we're getting into some duplicates here. Uh, uh, that's a little better here. I'll move the rares up out of the way. They're not as interesting. That is better. Next one. Do you have level three? Wrestler? Rise of the Salmon Great, the uh, ritual spell card. That's good to have. Another copy of just the OP Dino Wrestler card. God, that is. I'm so happy to pull more of him. Jaguar, Herald of the Abyss. Okay. Okay, this is a really good super rare spell card. Oh, man. <laughs> Pay 1,500 life points and declare one monster type and one attribute. And your opponent's got to send one face-up monster with the declared type and attribute from the field to the graveyard. The rest of the turn, they can't activate the effects of that monster's name. This is going to break unbreakable boards. Good card. Uh, clock supporting. Yeah, more just kind of throw away anime cyber slank cards. Eternal Galaxy. Two for one team. Yeah, that's something, I guess. And Gravekeeper Spiritualist. More of those. I promise when I hold these cards up to the camera so y'all can read it better, I'm actually going to hold it up to the lens. First time doing this, alright? Crusadia Crawler. Orchestrated Attack. Nah. Until noble arms are needed once again. What on earth is that name? I just... I hope someone activates this card in a tournament just somewhere and just says it in the most dramatic way possible. That would just be the best. I might play noble arms just so I can... Or noble knights, rather, just so that I can make that moment happen. I don't know if this card is good in that deck. I don't know anything about this card, but I want that to happen. <laughs> All right, second ultra rare. What are we looking at? Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon. And that's a noble knight. Card. Well, I guess this is a prophecy. We gotta we pull that and then got a noble knight's card. Interesting. Galaxy trance. Okay, we got more galaxy support. We got a spell card. I mean, adding consistency to that deck. I used to play that when I was super casual. Patrick Fluffle, Diplexer Chimera, Dino Wrestler Stegosaur, and another orchestrated core. All right, almost through the first time. Incantation, Bookstone, more ritual stuff, loving it. Predoplast, all right. Oh God, something must have, something funny must have happened over there. They're having a good time. Predoplast support, that was a deck that I wanted to play. I just never really got around to getting my hands on. Oh well, uh, Solomon Great Gift, uh, the ritual again. And, ooh, first uh, Thunder Dragon Monster for a super rare Thunder Dragon Duo. I'll take that. Not the best, not the worst, I'll take it. Uh, what's this? Another Gravekeeper. All right, Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. My friend's going to be really happy with me. All right, more Predator. I didn't know we got a Predator Plant Fusion in this. I totally overlooked that. Predator Plant Dragos Tapella? I'll take it. I'll take it. I might want to build this one day. Uh, Salomon Great Sanctuary, the Field Spell, and another Triple D Doom King Purple Armageddon. God, sorry about the glare on my uh, Tsukinono. Danger Snake. Snake. <laughs> World Dino Wrestling. Field Spell for it. Alright. Uh, World Legacy World Wand. Incantation Bookstone again, and some Summer Summoner. I adore this card's name, and this guy looks, just looks so chill, and I love that he's just great support for the Thunder Dragon archetype. I adore this card. I identify with this card. I want to be this guy. <laughs> this is hysterical. Look at him. He's even thick. I love this card. 
Orchestra uh, Brass Bombard. Orchestrated in Solomon Grade, Eternal, blah, blah, blah. We're getting into duplicates. Oh, they got a Pokemon tournament going on right before the Yu-Gi-Oh! one. It's pretty fun. I ain't gonna play in that. I don't play that card game. I don't know how that works anymore. Crusadia Crawler. Obviously the Nordic. Hi, Genghis. Solomon Great. Extra Foolish Burial. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. That's gonna... What is it? You send the, um... You send monsters from your extra deck to your graveyard. Now that... That could come into handy in a, another kind of more for fun casual deck that I like to play. Not the ones that I take to tournaments for any means, but uh, that could work well, and I'll show you all the deck profile of that soon. What is this? Uh, Goki Pull. Uh, it's Goki Pull. Support for random McDonald's normal monsters. <laughs> Revenge of the Normal. Speaking of normal monsters, what on earth? Mushroom Man, Little Cur that episode with Little Karibo. Throw Haga from the train. That was something else. Um, concentrating Current is not necessarily support for anything. And Deanna the Light Spear. Okay. Normal Summoner Set must be banishing one light monster. Oh, just gains life points. That's something special. Oh, well. And last pack for the first side. Let's pack for the first side. Edge Imp Cotton Eater. Okay, we got uh, we got Fluffle Fright for Pendulum Monsters. I can live with that. I like that. Dino Wrestler Cactera. Rise of the Salomon Greats. Mystric Holder. Um, I have no idea what that is, but uh, well, we got it. Uh, ooh. Rare Solomon Great Heat Leo. Heat Leo, yeah, that's a uh, Soul Burner's uh, Ace Monster. That's that. Despite my aggressions towards Soul Burner. Gravekeeper Spirit List again. Predator Plant Fusion. Solomon Great Sanctuary and Purple Armageddon. <laughs> Alright, halfway through my first box opening ever. Alright, starting off with the first pack on the second side. Let's get into it. Orchestrated Attack. Noble Arms. The really dramatic Noble Knights card. Love that. Uh, let me get some of these commons out of the way a little bit. Dino Wrestling Field Spell. World Legacy 1. Some Summoner Summoner again. Love that. If I had a play set of him. Token Collector. Alright, that was the uh, ultra rare promo for those who were lucky enough to be able to make it to the uh, Soul Fusion Sneak Peek. Alright, that's a good rare. I like that. Especially with how popular Scapegoat is and the fact that, you know, it's only at two instead of like Band or at one. That's going to be a good card. The end of the Light Spirit again. Revenge of the Normal and Patchwork Fluffer. Galaxy Brave. Hi, Genghis. Salomon Great. And we got the cover card. We got the cover card for the next Ultra Rare. We got Cyber's Clock Dragon. Oh, my God. Happy with that, bro. Probably not the most valuable, but that's iconic. I like that. That's, uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that. I don't think I'm going to sell that one. Remember when um, Playmaker was using that against, um... Who was it? The Blood Shepherd the first time, and that was his Deus Ex card, the first one we saw at the Fusions, and... Yeah, that was a cool moment. I like that. For the rare, Gravekeeper's Headman. I believe we pulled a couple of him already. Simon Great Near, Incantation... The feather. <laughs> More ritual support, like it. Uh, Purple Armageddon, and Asanata. Moving right along. <laughs> Incantation Bookstone, uh, Jim Cotton Eater, Dino Wrestler Capitera, Rise of the Salomon Great, Nid. God, this again. That's uh, nice. Uh, there we go. Fright for Patchwork. That's a good rare to have. I, I don't know. I think this box opening is telling me to play Fluffles. God, they, those players have been claiming for this card forever. And it's worth it, too. It's a. Uh, you get your polymerization to your hand, and it's basically a rota for the archetype. That's a uh, that's a good card. I can see why they wanted that so bad. Solomon Great Mirror, Depsler Chimera, Crusadia, it's a, it's a fat, that one. 
uh, nothing to write home about there. <laughs> Still, this is exciting. I'm loving this. I'm loving every second of this. And there he is. There's our third copy of the best Dino Wrestler monster there. I might have to play Dino Wrestlers or, or just dinosaurs in general. This. I want to play so many more decks after this. This is incredible. I love this. Giant Ball Park. Solomon Great, Emerald Eagle, Eagle, and Danger Mothman. I knew my video was a sign. I'm, I'm going to end up pulling so many of this. I'm going to be A-OK -okay with it. Especially because the Lamp Moth meme is currently my favorite one going around. And that's neither here nor there. The fact that, the fact that I made a video about this guy, I love this. Heat Leo again. Galaxy Claire. Solomon Great Falco. Dino Wrestler Stegosaur and Dino Wrestler that one. Some of these I just am not even going to bother trying to pronounce anymore. <laughs> Moving right along, more uh, Gave Dragon. That might be our third one of him. Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Attack, Invincibility Barrier, another Herald of the Abyss. I'll take that. I'll definitely take more of that. I like that. Clock Wyvern, that's a Playmaker's card. Definitely a kind of a plot device card for him every now and then. I don't know what his um, deal with clock monsters is this season, but you got Clock Wyvern, you got the Cyber's Clock Dragon. Nothing's really been uh, themed around time this season, but we got all sorts of clock stuff. It is what it is. Necrofusion. All right, that was a that was a promo for one of the special editions. I'll take that. Donna Wrestler Stegosaur and Concentrating Current again. Alright, World Legacy, yep, another Foxy, Agave Dragon, and for our second secret rare, Danger Thunderbird. That is amazing. We got our two secret rares, we got the Snake, and we got Thunderbird. Oh my god, I, I, I think I wanted this card more than I wanted, um, more than I wanted the Thunder Dragons. I'm, I'm, this is the best day, this is the best day, I love this, this is incredible. All right, consolation prize. I guess holding the danger monsters is my consolation prize. We're not kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like the danger monsters more. <laughs> Gravekeeper spiritualist, will of the Salomon Great, Patrick Fluffle, and subsurface stage divers. Well, I guess. Um, what even is this? Uh, nothing to write home about. Danger Thunderbird, Cyber's Clock Dragon, and Danger the Snake one. Yeah, this is, this is, this, I love this. Solomon Great, Emerald Eagle, Solomon Great Gift, Captera, Crusadia Crawler, and another Danger Dragon Duo. All right, all right, we're getting some, or not Danger Dragon, Thunder Dragon. I got Danger Monsters on my mind. Thunder Dragon Duo. All right, we're not pulling too bad on these. We're getting a couple Thunder Dragons, but we got the good danger cards. We got the good ones. <laughs> this is, I love it. Thunder Dragon Disco Discharge, the, uh, the trap card Thunder Dragon support. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Incantation. And Sanctuary. Oh, well. Fun's almost over, guys. We're almost out of packs. <laughs> Dino Wrestler Captera, Rise of the Salmon Great, fourth copy of this guy, all day, all day, <laughs> love that, and Thunder Dragon Fusion for the Ultra Rare, Thunder Dragon, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted, do I want to invest more in, in dangers or Thunder Dragons at this point, uh, that's to be determined by how the rest of the opening goes I suppose, um, or Chris Harpoor, that horrifying harp again, God, the horror. Predator Plant Dragon Fusion. Uh, Orchestrated Core. Diana Wrestler, that one. And Diana the Light Spirit. Almost done. How many packs are left? We've got four packs left of my very first opening on this channel. Runs to the Solomon Great. Giant Ballpark. Obviously, the Nordic Alfar, Edge, and Cotton Eater, Danger Dog, man. God. I was hoping that was going to be the Mothman. 
It's all this super rare danger. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's danger support, but it's not the best in the set by any means. Uh, I don't know if they, if that deck's even gonna run this card. Oh well. Galaxy Trance. Hey, I mean, I can't complain. I got the Thunderbird here. Salmon Gray Falco. Orchestrated Einsatz again. Purple Armageddon. Yeah, we're gonna have like hundreds of these cards. Purple Armageddon. <laughs> Three packs left. Jaguar. Bookstone. Predaplast. What on earth? Long Ear Sue. The Orchest Orchestrator. Orchest. Huh? Orchest. 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 And there's their field spell because apparently they have one. Orchest Babel. Oh, Tower of Babel. Okay. It's biblical. Interesting. I see you, Konami. I see you. Avenger the Normal, Patrick Fluffle, Solomon Great Mirror, Dick Chimera. Uh, two packs left. Two packs. Can we just do something absolutely ridiculous and pull a third secret rare? I mean, these boxes you generally get two secret rares, but we can be optimistic because we are thick and there is no reason not to be. Here we go. World Legacy World Wand. Predoplast. Dino, World Dino Wrestling. Until Noble... God, that dramatic thing. Uh, foil is uh, a danger support card. Okay, we got the Continuous Trap. Second Expedition into Danger. All right, you got pretty um, Kong Skull Island kind of theme going on there. I like that. Interesting. Uh, Necro Valley Temple. Okay, that's the first time we pulled that rare. Uh, more Gravekeeper stuff. My friend's going to be just wanting all these cards. <laughs> Eternal Galaxy. Crusadia again. And that, that Dino Wrestler that I'm not going to attempt to pronounce for the millionth time. And here we are, guys. Last pack oh, of extra right thick <laughs> games. First box opening. I've got an audience now. A gentleman over here to my left just said he came in at the right time. I'm We've sorry, already got two wrong. secret rares. We've got how many ultra rares is this? We got four, including the cover card. We got. So far, we've done pretty well. But can we pull broken? Time to find out. Salaman Great Gift. Salaman Great Emerald Eagle. Crusadia Crawler. Uh, full go justice for hire. All right, all right. That's the first um, for hire card I've ever pulled in my life, actually. So, I mean, it's a new card. I didn't have this one. It's not a duplicate. Can't complain. Not with that Thunderbird. No one is complaining around here. Toll hike. What does this one do? Each player must send one card from their hand to the graveyard to declare an attack. What on earth? I mean, interesting uh, casual <laughs> strategies, I guess. Really trolly card. <laughs> Cassidia. Link monster. Necrofusion again. That's our second one. Dino Wrestler Stegosaur and Concentrating Currents. All right, guys. That has been Extra Thick Games' very first box opening of Soul Fusion the first day it was available, aside, of course, from, you know, the sneak peek. But I'm overall very pleased with this box opening. This was a whole lot of fun, as I'm sure y'all noted from just my excitement throughout. I'm about to get into this tournament here in, um, I think, maybe about half an hour or so. Deck profile for that new spicy deck to come later. This has been a wonderful experience, and I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. And remember always, my friends, stay thick. Extra Thick Games out.